What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Got another movie reaction for you. Knock at the cabin with the best pro wrestler turned actor, Batista. Yeah, I said it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said it. Cena's hilarious. Rock has amazing action movies, but Batista's the best when it comes to the pro wrestlers. He's got range. Yeah, it sure feels that way. And this movie looks really interesting. Batista always nails it and everything that I've seen him in personally. And yeah, if you guys didn't know, we do movie nights every single weekend right here on the Nikki and Steven React channel. Every weekend, just keep your eyes open for the posts. And yeah, come join us because movie nights and live streams are a blast. We have so much fun. We laugh. I tell a dad joke. I give you the spiel. Yeah, it's a, it's good, a good time. time. Very good time. Jeez. And yeah, that happens often. And if you didn't know, we do post these full reactions over on the Patreon watch alongs. You got to, you know, have your own copy to join us. But yeah, links to that below. And we also have a lot of really cool movie discussions over on the Discord. Yes, so do. if you're into that, come join us for that too. And, you know, you get all your information and schedules and updates and all that stuff over there. So all those links down below. But you ready for Knock at the Cabin? Yes. Let's go. Oh, it's rated R for disturbing violence. Hell Great. yeah, let's go. Great, awesome, so excited, can't wait. M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong. <laughs> what? Batista? Oh god. Is this similar to Cabin in the Woods where it's all like a demonic like cult? It looks really, I mean, that's a really nice shot. It is. I don't like grasshoppers. I don't like crickets. No. Ugh. They jump. It's so gross. Mm -mm. Kid brings that home. You're going outside, too. She's adorable. I'm just going to learn about you for a little while. Is that okay? Sure. This was... I don't believe that they've given consent. Hi, Batista. I'm gonna assume that this is not somebody that she knows. Um, I'm already freaked out. <laughs> the sound of his footsteps, terrifying. And he's not like a small dude. No, he's a massive dude. I'm not from around here, but I was hoping to make some new friends. Why are you talking to a child then? Can I talk to you for a little bit? No, I'm not comfortable with that at all. I don't talk to strangers. Oh, of course you don't. You shouldn't. You're smart. I'm here to be your friend. Hopefully, we won't be strangers for too long. What's your name? Wenlin, but everyone calls me Wen. Well, it's nice to meet you, Wen. My name's Leonard. I'm not comfortable with any of this. I mean, this is If quite, you're an adult... This is quite creepy. Do not talk to just random kids alone. I loved catching grasshoppers when I was your age. Oh, well, you're really good. Thanks, one. Let the ones inside calm down a bit. We don't want them to panic. I'm studying them. I'm going to take care of animals when I grow up. She's so sweet. You call your dad by his first name? It's so they know who I'm talking to. There's Daddy Eric and Daddy Andrew. All the other kids at school only have one dad. All the Disney Channel shows only have one dad, too. Does that bother you? No, except when my guidance counselor keeps saying how it's so great that I have two dads. For some reason, it makes me feel like she's saying the opposite. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Dude, this is so, like, uncomfortable. How old are you, Yeah, don't... I'll be eight in six days. Well, happy almost birthday. I have some for you. Consider it an early birthday present. If you don't like it, we can play a game with it instead. What kind of game? We'll take turns pulling pedals off and asking questions. I don't like any of this. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Kiki still What's your favorite favorites? scary movie? Okay, your turn. Why are you talking to a seven-year-old dude? Why are you here. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, she's smart. I suppose I'm here to make friends with you. 
Maybe catch some more grasshoppers. How'd you get that tiny little scar on your lip? I'm so sorry, Went. I shouldn't have asked that. I love how tight the shots are on their faces, though, because yeah. it's like... My lip was broken when I was born. Oh, My dad said it took a lot of doctors to fix it. Well, I don't have a scar like you, but if you could look inside, you'd see that my heart is broken. Oh, here we go. Are you fucking kidding me? Because of what I have to do today. Oh, no. Bitch. They're friends. You're my friend, Wen. No matter what happens, I want you to remember that. What in the hell is happening? This is such a friggin' wild start. You see, the four of us have a very important job to do. It might be the most important job in the history of the world. Girl, run. Oh, shit. Is that Ron Weasley? It is. The three of you are going to have to make some tough decisions. And I wish with all my broken heart that you didn't have to. Dude. Your dads won't want to let us in. You have to tell them they must. Wynn, tell me you understand. The movie has done an absolutely fantastic job of setting an absolutely eerie and uncomfortable tone to start. You have to come inside right now. There's strangers and they want to come in and they're scary. Oh, whoa, slow down. Hurry now. Oh my god. I don't know what my initial reaction would be if one of our daughters came yelling at us like that. First off, that cabin is awesome. <laughs> Second, fuck no. Hello in there. My name's Leonard. This has very, like, strangers feel to it. Yes! This guy's freaking. Yeah, he is a very large human being. I don't know, um... Tell him to go away nicely. <laughs> Shit. I met your delightful daughter, Wen, already. She's so thoughtful and kind. You two should be very proud. Is there something we can help you with? There is. Why don't you open the door? It'll be easier if we speak face to face. Hell no! You should know that this isn't easy for us either. None of us have been to this lake before. We never thought we'd be here talking to you nice people. Four of us are here because we're trying to save a whole bunch of people. But we need your help to do that. Dude. What the fuck? <laughs> they killed the lion. Like I said, we need to talk. I, I love the that. camera moves. We're calling the cops. Hey, um, we know you can't do that. None of our phones get service out here either. Sorry, we have to cut the phone line. I... Why do they sound so fucking apologetic? Because, I mean, they... I mean, he said that, you know, he's sorry that he has to do this, but... Goddamn door, we're coming in either way. The hell you are, I have a gun! Show us what you're packing, Daddy Andrew. We all like show and tell. Don't see it when I'm pointing at your head, you piece of crap. The tough talk, but the piece of crap. Yeah. I mean, there's a baby right there, but... I'm giving you one last chance to open the door. Uh, I think the dads are dead. That's what I'm... the vibe I'm getting right now. What a good shot. I would be pooping my pants. I honest, honestly, 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 what the fuck do up you until even the point, do? Up until the point that I'd have to fight, I'd be scared to death. And then I would fight every ounce of my body and ability to protect my family. I am just in sheer panic mode right now. I don't know how I would feel if, like, someone as large as Batista walked up to my door being all polite, wanting to, like... I just want to have a conversation. Fuck uh, no. And now they're... Yeah. Chill, Weasley. Honestly, what is happening? I, I, oh, I don't like this shit at all. I don't fucking like this. Maybe this is why the movie won the poll? You think? <laughs> Y'all just love just this. Let's make a run for it to the car. That sounds like a terrible plan, but sitting in the house. Oh, shit. It didn't have to be like this. The fuck? Let me help him! Wait, don't touch him! I'm a nurse! 
this is like so bizarre. They're like, like sorry and apologetic, and it's like, it reminds me of a uh, of forgetting Sarah Marshall where he's like killing the pig. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is way more. No, oh like, god. oh my god, you have to fucking. Oh my god, I hate. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this so much. Damn, fight! Let's go. Oh, you're not fighting that fucker oh. though. Dude, the, I dude, the camera on his vest. Sorry, I just like spit everywhere. I love the camera work so far. The turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Fuck! You'll be okay. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! This is nuts. I like your fridge. Thanks, Mom. Parents are making this awkward. So I'm gonna assume they're not accepting of their relationship. I think that's pretty clear. Assholes. God forbid your child is happy. They drove for seven hours and stayed 45 minutes. Seven Shit. hours? Assholes. Happy, happy. The fuck? <laughs> what the? She's actually like helping him. He's cleaning up the what? Oh my, this is. This is so bizarre. Never watched this show before, but, but I like it. The characters they seem curious and good. And I get the sense that it explores or teaches empathy and tolerance, and it's just lovely. Is that what you're here to talk about now that you have the queers tied up? Andrew, I assure you, what we're not here. What the fuck is happening? We had no idea you were a single sex couple until we got here. That one was a surprise. Well, I guess if you promise, then I have to believe you. <laughs> Holy shit. Can everyone come in here, please? They're like the sweetest group of intruders of all time. Love to, love to have them over for a dinner party. No, I'm good. I mean, they cleaned up after themselves. This is some bullshit. They're polite. My name is Sabrina. We're from the Church of Latter-day Saints. I live in Southern California. I have been a post-op nurse. I use most of my savings to come out to Pennsylvania. This is about an MLM. Stop it. A multi-level marketing company. Are they going to ask about their extended warranties? Oh. I don't want your essential oils, Sabrina. Well, I think you, <sighs> you guys already know my name is Leonard. And, uh... I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm from Chicago. I'm a second grade teacher and I run the after school program. What the fuck? I'm Rim and I like long walks on the beach and I like beer. Hey, we already discussed this. They deserve to know who we are. We wasted time for this guy to wake up. You know, this get to know you stuff doesn't matter at all. It doesn't change what we have to do or what they have to do. When you say stuff like that, you sound how you sound. A lot of uh, questionable stuff when I was young and stupid. Ron's become a dick. But I'm much better now. What the f What in the hell? May I speak now? I hope I don't sound confusing. This is literally one of the most bizarre intros to a movie I have ever seen. I'm Adrian. Yeah, I, I've been a lot of things, but but right now I was a line cook at a Mexican restaurant in Dupont Circle, DC. I mean, I'd probably be really nervous under the circumstances too, but I mean, y'all are clearly like raging psychopaths. The four of us are here to prevent the apocalypse. Oh my God. <clears throat> when I say we, I mean everyone in this cabin can stop it from happening, but only with your help. Oh boy. Ultimately, whether the world ends or not, is completely up to you three. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, psycho. Your family must choose to willingly sacrifice one of the three of you in order to prevent the apocalypse. What? After you make what I know is an impossible decision, you must then kill the one you choose. What? If you fail to choose, or if you fail to follow through with the sacrifice, the world will end. Uh, based on what? Seven billion plus. 
I would like to see some documentation yeah. and receipts. Like, can you please prove to me that the apocalypse is on its way? And you will only live long enough to witness the horror of the end of everything. I would. Let's go with that. Be left to wander the devastated planet alone. I'm gonna go with that option. <laughs> that sounds good to me. That perfect. Let's do that. We haven't done anything. I agree with you. You haven't. You haven't done anything wrong. You're just the family chosen to decide for us in this time. I really wish you would have respected the no solicitor sign. Honest. I do not answer the door for strangers. <laughs> if we wanted to hurt you, we would have used duct tape instead of rope. You stop. <laughs> Dude. You have to understand that we cannot and will not choose who is to be sacrificed for you. We're not choosing anyone we're not sacrificing anyone even if it means the death of everyone else in the world yes yes bitch even if i believe the world was at stake which i don't that's what it means i love the way this is filmed i've been shown exactly what will happen if you choose not to make a sacrifice we've all been shown we couldn't stop drawing the visions we saw oh is that what we saw in the intro oh there is something wrong with you with all of you if you believe this did they take, like, some mushrooms from the forest or something? Oh, my God. For every no you give us, we will unleash a plague for the sins of humanity. Will you make a choice? Uh-oh. Oh, my God. What the fuck? That's two no's. Does that mean they're gonna have to take out? What are you doing? Don't touch her! Don't touch her! Why is he acting like he's about to die? I'm scared. Humanity has been judged. This isn't real. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Whoa. What the fuck? This is fucking weird. In like a really cool and interesting kind of way. Look at all the babies. Oh, she has a cleft palate or a cleft lip. The sweet baby. Now tell me this isn't a miracle. Oh my God, she's so precious. <laughs> He's fucking vomiting right now. Like, what in the hell? You're definitely not getting that Airbnb deposit back. <laughs> the cleaning fee on this thing is going to be nuts. Oh, the blood doesn't come out. It doesn't really it's good. Especially be... wood. Not that I would know. <laughs> I mean, you can try. That's a Solid wood right there. When I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to change the channel for a little bit, okay? Go fuck yourself, Mr. Rogers. Oh. Earthquake centered in the Aleutian Islands, which struck more than four hours ago. More than four hours. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center issued its strongest warning to the islands of Hawaii. Oh, shit. I know you're afraid of me, of us. Just please watch. By the way, Batista's killing it so far. Honestly, he's so good. A second massive earthquake has struck in the Pacific, registering 8.6 on the Richter scale. Unbelievable. Oh, there it is. Dude, this is horrifying, dude. I, I mean, 50-foot-high bluffs along the coast are not going to be safe. This feels like, um... Day after tomorrow? Yes. Oh, oh my shit. god. And you ain't running that. 
No. Oh my god! Oh my god. When? Go to your room till I tell you to come out. Oh shit. Tomorrow morning you can make the difficult, selfless choice of sacrifice and save the world. Or you can choose once again to let the clock move another minute closer to permanent midnight. Do they have to do this again and again, or...? Like, honestly, what would you do in that? Like, I wouldn't kill my family. No. Everyone in the world can die as far as we're concerned. Am I right, Eric? Eric? Oh, my God. Dude gonna, like, sacrifice himself? Like, I it love would... her so much. She is fantastic. It would be almost an impossible thing to believe that my or my family's sacrifice would be the result of what I had just watched on the news. <laughs> she is so damn cute. Oh my god, she's killing me. I'm nervous for her. Yes, I am too. I mean, that would be a dope place to go hide away, but, like, we've seen way too many movies now where it's like, I am, not, good. I am not going to a cabin no. out in the woods no. with nothing else connected to it and no one else around me. Right. Hell no. <laughs> Just lying a little pressure. You think I'm some kind of religious freak, right? I would, too. I didn't believe it at first, either. But you will. This is such a, like a well done, terrifying movie. I mean, I've been joking, but when I walked out onto the boardwalk and I saw the others, we were all wearing the same colors we saw in our visions. That's when I knew I wasn't alone. This is so trippy. Yeah. We're all on the same side. I'm on my family's side. Should have known to have expected something just so far out of left field with M Night yeah. being the director. Yeah. <laughs> Because I find Signs, the movie Signs, absolutely terrifying. Like, that that movie gives me the freaking creeps. Especially with the baby monitor stuff, man. Mm-mm. You know that first earthquake happened over four hours ago, right? Before they showed up here. They've been timing all of this. I don't want you to be spooked or anything. You think I believe that? No. With your head and all, I want to make sure you're thinking straight. Do you believe them? I don't know. I mean, if they're not being, like, genuine, they're doing an amazing sell job because yeah. their uneasiness about presenting what they have seen and what is happening has been fantastic. The performances so far have been Oh my god, really so good. good. Like, where's she gonna go? They seem so far away. Oh my god, baby run. From anything. Yeah. Run! Oh, sweet baby, run. Oh, honey. Bah! Oh my god. He's gonna come behind her. Oh god. You're just scared, Wynn. Well, yeah, hello. You just fucking murdered somebody in front of me. We were targeted. We've always been targeted. <laughs> I knew I recognized him. Redmond is the guy from the bar. What? Andrew was attacked by a man at a bar in Boston many years ago. The man went to jail for a short while, but his name was O'Banham. It's him. The man who attacked me and had me in years of therapy is one of your group? Go get his wallet. I'll show you his name isn't Redmond. No, we're not doing that. Why? Because it doesn't matter what his name is. We all have the visions. This has to be exact. Everything has to be right. Didn't he tell us about this cabin on the message board first? And then we all had visions of a cabin? No, we had the visions first. Message board. Oh my god. Go to sleep. 
sun will rise, maybe for the last time for all of us. You guys been on some kind of message board, right? You're having a shared delusion. That's a uniquely 21st century health crisis. It is real. Remember the guy who shot up three people on an army base in Louisiana? They posted videos about how the shadow government was stalking them and using mind control weapons in an attempt to destroy their lives. We found each other online because we said we had the same visions. Remember what you did at Thanksgiving? And then we decided to meet on the boardwalk. You're gonna do that if I nod. Oh, God. You have the opportunity to choose. Oh, my God, dude. I don't mean to rush you, but we're going to ask for your decisions very fast now. I'm the next one to go. I'm counting on you, man. Why are you the next one to go? Just walk out and see. Nothing will happen. None of this can stop until you make a choice. Don't you get that already? Y'all are some sick mofos. Here I am, begging you to do what has to be done, because if you don't, my son is gonna die. Let your time run out. We're not gonna do what you want us to do. There is a zero percent. If I knew that if we decide to not do anything, one of them dies, I'd be like, yeah, go ahead. No, but there's like, earth things happening. Conveniently. I'd write out the final days of my family before I had to kill one of them. I guess sacrificing myself would be the noble thing to do. Like, babe, just kill me. Oh, yeah, because that would be easy. You guys are delusional. You're part of a suicide cult. Can't you see that? This is so fucked. Ah! Please stop this! Dude, I love the way this movie is filmed. That is so creepy. What's with the things? Is that like holding the blood? Because it doesn't. Holding the, in the splatter? A part of humanity has been judged. Oh my god, this poor baby. Kinda wish they'd show us. No, I'm good. I don't need to see. I'll move her into the other room so they don't have to see her. We've unleashed a second plague. Turn on the news, prove it! Sabrina, put on the TV, please. I mean, them being able to time this shit out like this is pretty insane. There have also been new developments with the novel X9 virus, which is proving particularly fatal to children. Highly transmittable amongst children aged 10 and under. Lockdowns in these areas have already begun. It said pre-recorded? I think I saw something, Andrew. In the reflection in the mirror, when you were standing behind Redmond. Eric, look at me. This shit is wild. I have no idea what to believe. This guy has been checking his watch all morning, just like yesterday. Did you see the banner at the bottom of the screen? It isn't live, it's pre-programming. It's a TV show. Just like they knew the Alaskan earthquake and the tsunami warning had already happened before they showed up here. Dude. I wanna watch Patty Nina Chloe! Now I wanna watch Patty Nina Chloe! When? When? Take a deep breath. Oh my God, I love her so much. <laughs> One, three. Get away from my family, you fucking loser! Don't you look at me! Don't, don't you look at my family! Don't understand what you're doing, please. please! Oh shit! Ah, oh shit! Bitch. We have to make the decision to save the most lives. We have to help each other. Oh my god, dude! This is when remote start would come in real handy. Where are you right now? Do you think these are people that are legitimately having the same vision, or do you think they're legitimate? I don't know. That targeted I don't, them. I, I don't know. I don't know. Damn, this is strong ass friggin' winch, like back window. Holy shit. Oh shit. Oh 
Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, girl. Oh. Dude, that's you enough. You got enough bullets, dude. Fucking just fucking shoot her, dude. Oh, my God, dude. A warning shot. Man, you should be so grateful that he gave you a warning shot. Stop! Because I ain't giving no warning shots. No, bitch. You just fucking stabbed me in the side. Fuck. Oh, they slashed the tires. I'd, Wait, get more bullets yeah, now would, that you have a moment. I'll get more load, bullets now. Yeah, load the gun all the way. I know you've been through a lot and people haven't been fair to you. That would not even... Drop the weapon and move away from Eric or I'll show you I was chosen to put a bullet in your head. I would kill him anyways. Like, what these fucking people did to me and my family, I ain't giving you any shot. I know it's hard to pull a trigger, but still. It's a lot easier said than done, but fuck these folks. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Not in a scary way, just it's there. You're uptight. You can suck the life out of any situation. <laughs> I have never, for one second of my life, ever doubted loving you. I'm trying to have a drink with my friends. Oh, we were being too loud? Here's his temper, I assume. Get your drunk ass back to your seat. Uh-oh. You shouldn't provoke them. I wasn't provoking. <gasps> Motherfucker, dude. Oh my god, what the fuck? That's totally Redmond. Fuck, dude. People are awful. A part of humanity has been judged. Oh, God. It's got to be your choice. Shut your mouth. Dude, if you don't believe him, just shoot him in the face. It's okay. Ben. Damn it. How about a crazy bigot meets a bartender from a bar somewhere, and they find a woman from a small town who has extreme religious beliefs? No, I'm not a murderer like you guys. Dude. I will fucking kill you if I have to. Oh my god. I mean, it's a pretty good uh, theory that he was able to connect those dots. We need something to throw up to. Is this movie going to end with, like, the world coming to an end? Because they didn't participate, is that where we're at with this? <laughs> Leonard? Oh my god. How did his big ass fit through that tiny fucking round window? Check the check the shower. Don't waste a bullet shooting it, just check. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so scared for them. Oh, my God. No. Yeah, dude. You're going to try to beat up one of the largest individuals that you've probably ever seen in your life? Can you shoot him? Or do you miss? Oh, he did. He, he got, got him. him. You'll see that everything I said was going to happen has happened. No one's going to do what you said. More images as we see yet another passenger aircraft plummet to the ground. Why did you turn it on? Local and international government. Oh, shit, dude. M multiple. Multiple. <gasps> Those are some really horrible coincidences, right? Yeah. 
Holy shit. They're just falling out of the sky. Oh my god, another one. The skies were falling, crashed to the earth like pieces of glass. God's fingers will scorch the earth, and an everlasting darkness will descend over humanity. We now have confirmation of as many as 700 airplanes. S -s Excuse me. Excuse me. It is it's hard, hard to, describe to describe the images, the images we are seeing. that we are seeing. They, they fill us with disquietude and horror. Do you really think that everything that happened today, everything we've seen... He's a believer now? Yeah. Do you really think it's all just a coincidence? Some horrible, unexplainable coincidence? You already don't believe that. I know on someone's lying. <laughs> oh, man. I like to do this last part outside. What are you doing with that, Leonard? When I'm gone, you only have minutes to stop everything. After that, it'll be too late. Will all the children die? Fine. Put your music on until one of us comes to get you. Do what daddy says, okay? This is... This is for baby. You think con concussion daddy is just doing this know. to, like, play the part? I don't know. You know what I love most about teaching kids? They believe everything you say. So you have to be careful. Say only what you know. It's a big responsibility. Please, my new friends, Eric, Andrew, and save the world. All of humanity has been judged. Oh my god. Why did he say that I like to do this part outside? Like... I don't know. He's just seen it in his vision enough to know that he wants to be in a rocking chair when he slices his own throat at the end. Holy shit, stuff's crashing like near them. We still have a few minutes, he said. There was something in the light, and I feel it now. Maybe families have been deciding this all through time. Well, let's just walk the earth then, the three of us. What kind of life is that for when? Andrew, this wasn't a home invasion. They came here to spend time with us. What the fuck? They remind us of all aspects of humanity. Redmond Malice. Adrian Nurturing. Sabrina Healing. Oh, shit. Leonard Guidance. They're the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Oh, shit. We're supposed to give up our love for them? If he shoots them in the head and then the skies just open up and are nice and clear, that's fucking nuts. You gotta do it now. We're out of time, all of us. Dude. I don't believe in them, Eric. You're there with her. You guys are locking up her office because you guys are going to dinner. She is everything we always hoped for. She still got her crazy laugh. She still asks everybody questions about everything. She found someone who loves her and who she loves just as much. Stuff. It's the babies. Did you hear it save everyone?
the fuck? The only thing we could do was climb out of the upstairs window onto the roof. Water kept climbing higher and higher, and the water just stopped rising. Switch to the other one. The last of the planes in Australia and Russia have landed safely. I love you so much. Everything's going to be okay. Sudden lightning strikes that set fire to many areas have not returned. Wow. Could you imagine being that important? No. Nope. Like, you're the one who prevented the end of the world. Nope. Like, what? Mm. Please don't get into a car wreck. Okay. Oh, Eric saw the future. <laughs> Still. <laughs> oh I mean, it wasn't even like the baby stuff. It's the future baby stuff. It's the watching your child become something great. Yeah. I thought that movie was awesome. I thought it was beautifully done. Um, I mean, I know that's like your thing to like look at the shots, but yeah. like those shots were so cool. Everything was so crisp. The, the colors oh. were so good. I wonder uh, like, like seeing that like opening shot yeah. with like, of all like the brush and the forest and the plants and like the, the flowers and stuff. The grasshoppers. Like, I was like, what is that going to look like on the big screen? Yeah. Like we watched it obviously on our monitor, but like... Oh, I the crispness would love of, to know. Yeah, the crispness of the shots were insane. It, like a filter was on it. Yeah. I I say this all the time, and I think it's a very valid and very important point to make. I love going into a movie when you have literally zero knowledge of what the story is. I just knew Batista was in That's it. That's all I knew about it. Like, yeah. Knock at the Cabin, it just sounds like Cabin in the Woods kind of thing, and... It's like the way the movie starts out, you're like, oh, this is like the strangers and this family's been targeted. And as it starts unraveling the story, you're like, wait, what the fuck is that? Well, I mean, like the four <laughs> horsemen stuff, that was like, boom. It, it, it hits you right in the face. It was, <laughs> the thing that was trippy about it, it's like, this is playing out. They're sharing all these things, their visions, how they all came together. And then you start seeing these moments play out on the like news. So Andrew started kind of catching on to what they were doing yeah. and had a really good analogy and felt like he had like a gotcha moment mm -hmm. by figuring out their plan. But then it's like stuff just kept unfolding and every time part of the crew was killed, they put on the news. Like when they showed the planes, that's the part where I'm just like, that shit's nuts. Like, that was just holy shit. And, I mean, I, the performances, I thought were the best part. Yeah. I think this is a great topic of discussion. I think Batista is easily, without debate right now, the best pro wrestler turned actor. Yeah. I, I think he is fantastic. That. He's got way more depth. It feels then like you would, it. Then you would, uh, you know, originally assume yeah. about him. I mean, The Rock is always The Rock. He's yeah. always in amazing action flicks, and he's amazing in everything that he does. But he has a like, type. John Cena is super funny. Like, Peacemaker, like, he is hilarious. But Batista has just... He's funny, and he, yeah. he can be absolutely serious and emotional. I thought Batista I was wasn't amazing. I expecting to cry right? for Batista, <laughs> yeah. dude. I thought Batista I mean, I was amazing. I didn't cry for Batista. Right. But, like, this movie, I didn't think we were going to get... I mean, I was a little nervous the moment they introduced, like, a really cute little kid who's got a lot of personality. Yeah. I'm like, if something happens to this kid, good or bad, like, it's going to break Nikki. And this movie broke Nikki. She was Anytime so you involve sweet, a child yeah. and, yeah. She was just the best. The, by so far, much my favorite person. The part that really got me was when he arrived 
and then the group arrived and they were doing their presentations of who they were and they all sounded really scared. There was like a nervous tone to their voice. They were kind of stuttering with the exception of like Ron Weasley. Like he, he was, he was kind of just like Redmond, Redmond, Redmond. Redmond. It felt like he was just like ready to go. And everyone else had this really nervous tone to their voice. And I'm like, what is happening here? Like, what is this? And again, the way the story unraveled and the way it played out, just so good. I mean, the camera, the cinematography of this movie, just the one shot where Batista grabbed like the axe tool thing weapon that he had and he like brought it up and the camera completely shifted and then moved with him. So cool. And just some of the camera shots, like the initial conversation at the Mm -hmm. beginning of the movie, where it was literally like this part of their face, I thought it was just, I I thought everything was very beautiful about the filming of this movie. Yeah. And the performances were top notch. Yeah. All of them. I mean, is the story 100% awesome? I mean, the story is... It's odd. Yeah. It's so odd. But, like, I, I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was very well done because you, it it started off very confusing. Yeah. They're like, what the hell is going on? And then as, like, the stuff... Because I was expo- cracking jokes. Yeah. But you then, know? like, the explanations start rolling out, and you're just like, wait, are these people just fucking crazy? Have they, like, literally lost their minds? Yeah. Are they on drugs? Are they part of this weird suicide cult? Like, what is happening? What or, message boards? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Or did they legitimately have these visions together where they had to end the apocalypse and it appears that they were telling the truth at the end? Because <laughs> one of them had to die. It happened at the end and everything bad that was happening stopped. The tsunami, the plague, the the airplanes crashing, the friggin' lightning strikes. Like, holy shit. Scorched earth. And then it yeah. just stops. Like... That was nuts. And, again, like, knowing that it's an M. Night movie, you knew it was going to be, like, you should have had expectations that it was going to be some kind of weird twist and curve somewhere. But you know what? And Just like most stories, it's about love. Always. It's always it's a love always story. It's about love. It's I mean, I love that. Story. Like, I love that you could, like, see their love and see the love that they had for when. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. I, that's it's very yeah. special. And yeah, and I really like the the way they use the flashbacks in this movie. Yes, because and it's the flash like forward. Yeah, they gave us like background of like what happened, and then they showed it to us. They talked about it, and they showed it to us. Like their meeting, the meeting with the parents, the bar, the bar scene, getting Wen for the very first time. Like all of that stuff was like told to us in the movie, and then it sh- was shown to us. And I think that was very well done. I thought the format and the flow of the story was fantastic. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, this I haven't seen a ton of M. Night movies, but this is definitely probably one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. I think I enjoyed this more than Signs. Don't crucify me. Signs, I, again, I said this before, Signs absolutely terrifies me. The, it, the clicking and, again, the freaking baby monitor, oh, man. Because, yeah. like, when our with our first baby... I had the baby monitor, and, like, I swear to God, I would hear shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, there is somebody talking on this fucking baby monitor, and it's not my baby. I Sketchy. The, Real <laughs> sus. <laughs> the, the sicko in me wishes they would have shown the kills. No, I'm good. That's just me. I grasped the concept. Oh, yeah, he definitely grasped the concept, but I'm a sicko when I watch these type of movies, and I want to see all the action and gore and nastiness. That's just, you know, part of the fun watching these wild, crazy movies. It's it's okay. It's okay. But yeah, overall, I thought it was very well done. I fully understand now why this was voted and why it won. Makes total sense. And I mean, you were scared and you cried. Yes. So well done. Odd, (laughs) but really good. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was my favorite part about it is just how weird it felt when it started and like the moment the story began, you had a weird, eerie feeling about what is happening right now. And it just kept getting weirder and more odd and creepier and just like, what? <laughs> like, as it just kept going. And I, I think that's a sign of a really cool told story. So yeah, well done. Well done. Agreed. Anything else? No. All right, y'all. 
Share your comments. We'll see you later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.